Barack Obama's nominee for the position of U.S. Defense Secretary, Ashton Carter, has indicated that he could be in favor of arming Ukraine in its fight against Russian-backed militants. I very much incline in that direction, um, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, because I think we need to support the Ukrainians in defending themselves. Um, I, I, the, the nature of those arms, I can't say right now because I don't have, uh, I haven't conferred with our military leaders or Ukrainian leaders, <clears throat> but I incline in the direction of providing them with uh, arms, including uh, to get to what I'm sure your, your question is, lethal arms. He added, though, that economic sanctions against Moscow should remain the main strategy for countering Russian aggression. The economic and political pressure on Russia has to remain the main center of gravity of our effort at pushing back. Um, and the Europeans are critical to that. So European solidarity and NATO solidarity are critical in this regard, as they are to all of European security and to dealing with the problem of, of, of Putin. The New York Times published an article on Sunday claiming that the Obama administration was reconsidering arming Ukraine. On Wednesday, a bipartisan group of 15 senators wrote a letter to Obama urging him to send defensive weapons to Ukraine. The White House had said earlier that it was against providing the Ukrainian government with lethal military support. Some experts warn that doing so could ignite a proxy war with Russia.